What is popping today, beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing with Flam. Man, in today's video, we're going to be switching it up. Uh, we're going to be slowing it down. Um, wintertime fishing has been tough, and also the weather has been terrible. Like it's been raining every day, every off day I get, it's been raining. It's super cold, so I haven't been able to fish. So. Like I said, today we're gonna switch it up, man. We're gonna do a little tackle warehouse unboxing, man. Um, but before we get into today's video, be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Um, you guys have been doing an amazing job tuning in to videos and comment and liking and things like that. And if you're new to the channel, hit that notification bell so you guys do not miss out on any content I post in the future because 2024 is gonna be it's gonna be a really good year fishing wise and tournaments and things like that just content in general but anyways let's get into today's video so right here we have a um tackle warehouse um little goodie bag man a little goodie box um everything in here is something that i needed or wanted to try um everything isn't specific for winter time bass fishing some things i just wanted to try in general some stuff were for spring some stuff were for winter um it just really all depends and i'll kind of describe all of that as we get into certain baits but the first thing i do want to show you guys is the hog farmer um, technical bass and mini blade flex rig and right there that's just your a rig alabama rig whatever you guys know it for <clears throat> and I really do like this thing as you guys can see i haven't even opened it up yet but um i do like that smaller profile and on the top of it it has about three um dummy hooks on there that you can post swim uh you can put swim baits on them and they have three regular swim bait hooks so i think that's going to be dope and definitely going to be used in the winter time to catch these cooling bass um to pair with that we have berkeley fusion hooks man one eighth ounce i believe three comes in a pack and i have two of them and just one odd light um swim bait heads and definitely going to use those for the a rig um i do like berkeley fusion baits the next bait we have and i've used these things in like throwing these things that had so much luck on them, but I always lose them. That is the Dirty Jigs um, Underspin, man. Um, I can't remember what size, a quarter of an ounce um, is the size I got, um, super light. And this is the Blue Shad Technical Bass and Underspin, as you guys can see right there. And I got four of those, I keep losing them, but they're really good. Um, next. I have a Vision 110 plus one junior jerk bait made by Mega Bass. This is 100% my favorite jerk bait to throw. Um, I've caught a lot of fish on there, but it is hard to get the colors that you want. Um, the plus one junior dive um, seven and a half feet which is the other ones I have is just the junior, not the plus one, but the junior, they only get four feet. So I'm looking for something to go a little bit deeper, try to um, target those suspended fish. This right here is a thread pin shad color. Um, a lot of lakes around here have thread pin shad in them. So um, we definitely gonna give that a try. Definitely gonna throw this around the winter time. This is a all, all around, all year bait that you can throw, but they are kind of expensive, but. Um, if you got the extra money, I definitely recommend the uh, Mega Bass Vision 110 Junior size. Next, we have something that I'm kind of just trying out. Um, I've gotten one in a mystery tackle box maybe about two, three years ago. I really liked it. I lost it, but I just never replaced it. Um, this is the Jabber Jaw 60 13 Fishing. Um, what can I say about this thing? Um, it's just the crankbait, it's different. It's very, very different. Um, but yes, the bill on this thing moves. Um, like, I don't wanna say opposite of the bait, but the bill itself moves as well. And it's just a very unique bait. This is a bluegill color, and this is like a uh, crawl color. As you guys can see, the thing is fire. 
and this is the bluegill color. That thing is fire. So we definitely gonna try that out. They only dive four feet, so shallow cranking. Um, yeah, we're gonna try those out. The next two baits are baits that I've never thrown before. Never even heard of them before until I started looking up deep diving crankbaits or medium diving crankbaits. And this is the Money Badger 6.75 made by Berkeley. And it's just a crankbait. Um, it dives, I believe, 12 feet. Yeah, 10 to 12 feet. I have a gold color. Love golden shiner. Anything gold is is my go-to color, black and gold. And then this one is just a shad color. I believe it is purple, glimmer, just a shad presentation. A lot of lakes runner have shad in them as well. So um, yeah, we gonna give it a try. Probably won't throw this too much in the winter time. I think this is a aggressive style crankbait in that winter time. They don't really, they want that tight wall where they don't really want all that aggressive cranking so i may try just to see if i can get a fish on it but definitely for the summer when they start to hunker down a little bit in that deeper water probably don't dive deep enough but it's deep enough for me um next we have berkeley's power bait this is the pro design ski pit boss it is called the pit boss it is three inches black and blue um one of my favorite ways to catch fish right now, and I've had the most luck on it, uh, especially fall time and that fall transition, which can be a tough time to fish, is jigs. I have all colors, but a black and blue jig has been my go-to. I catch the most fish and the biggest fish on a black and blue jig. So I got some black and blue little creature baits, and I've never heard of them, never seen them before, but I'm definitely gonna um, check them out. I was just going through the uh, selection that they had and I just decided to pick up some so definitely going to check those out and I will let you know how they do and last last but not least we have the Kitek Fat Swim Baits as you guys know this is a staple in the when it comes to fishing I have two different colors I have um, a flash minnow color and I have original sexy shad. Like I said, shad, you can't really beat it. And there's something about a minnow style, like a flashy color, um, works well in clear water. Obviously white, muddy water, stained water, you know, clear water, it don't even matter. So I'm definitely gonna have those tied on an A-rig and also use those just for the underspins as well. Um, got that 3.3 inch, something about that 3.3 inch, it gets bites in cold water summertime all of the above just i've caught the most fish on just that size um so yeah that's what i got today in my tackle warehouse box um i will leave uh, everything linked in the description below so you guys can um go check it out and yeah hopefully we get to do some some more fishing real real soon hope you guys are enjoying the shorts i'm gonna keep those posted as much as I can to keep you guys updated on everything. But um, yeah, with that being said, we're gonna get out of here, man. Y'all, y'all stay safe, y'all stay beautiful, and keep fishing and never stop. Peace.